Hello everybody, now I'm going to teach you how to find the inverse of a function. Remember what I taught you guys in class, switch your x and your y, solve for y. Switch your x and your y, solve for y. Alright, looking at the first example, f of x equals 3x minus 8. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and of course change that f of x to be y, because it's the same thing. And then, I'm going to go ahead and switch my x and my y, so now it's going to be x equals 3y minus 8, and now solve for y. So to get y by itself, I'm going to add 8 on both sides. So now I have x plus 8 equals 3y. And then divide both sides by 3. And so now y will equal x plus 8 over 3. But of course, the proper notation would be f inverse of x equaling x plus 8 over 3. All right, now let's do another example. I have f of x equals x plus 1 over 5. Again, I'm going to change it to, or rewrite it, I should say, to where it says y equals x plus 1 over 5. And then, of course, switch my x and my y. So now it's x equals y plus 1 over 5. And now solve for y. To get y by itself, I'm going to have to multiply both sides by 5 to cancel out the or divide out the 5 that's in the denominator. So now I have 5x equals y plus 1. And to get y by itself, I'll subtract 1 on each side. And so then I'll have y equals 5x minus 1. But of course, proper notation will be f inverse of x equal to 5x minus 1. And that's how you find the inverse of a function.